TV, a broader perspective. Upon the maintenance was to promote, protect, or forget, and project public procurement practice through professionalism. There is therefore need for data driven performance management systems where procurement professionals are able to agree on what to measure, performance targets, as well as giving indicators. This is Chicken and your TV, a broader perspective. To be the Nigerian procurement professional organization with first class credible global reputation for the development coordination and promotion of best practices, competencies, policies and procedures that guarantee transparency, efficiency, competitiveness, fairness and value for money towards facilitating general operational smooth running, infrastructural transformation and economic development. This mission of Association of Public Procurement Practitioners of Nigeria has been played out in the day-to-day -day dealings and the further portrayed us during the 2022 Annual Conference and Induction Ceremony on Thursday, 27th of October 2022 at Nikon Luxury Hotel, Abuja. The Bureau of Public Procurement is the oversight agency for the regulation of public procurement in Nigeria. And so, all other state public procurement agencies are almost like offshoot of BPP. Um, to this extent, part of our mandate, a very primary one, is to professionalize the procurement cadre. And uh, we've done a lot to start this with the establishment of the procurement cadre in Nigeria. I'd like to state that since we started this journey in 2007, we've produced permanent secretaries in the Federal Civil Service who are procurement practitioners. I'd also like to state that we are also on the move. We are making serious effort to ensure that we continue to have procurement practitioners at the end of affairs in the public service in Nigeria. And as we know, once we have procurement officers, we can be assured of due process, not only in procurement, but in most of what we have to do in the public service. That brings in a point. We can oversight, we can regulate, but we also need a cadre that is populated with professional procurement officers. As my president said some few minutes ago, up until now, procurement is seen as an administrative function where you just put anybody 
and uh, you think it's just to buy, you know, just to buy stuff. But we know that procurement owes a strategic role in national development. In fact, each time you hear that Nigeria has moved along the corruption perception index, what we find out is a reaction to what the world thinks we are doing in procurement. That's how important procurement is. So if we are to fight corruption, manage corruption, defeat corruption, the only way out is to ensure we have a sustainable, efficient procurement management system in Nigeria. Mind you, Apple is not the only association of procurement officers in Nigeria. They met some people and they have overtaken them. Not only have overtaken them, they are in the forefront of professionalizing, full professionalization of this profession in Nigeria. Let's clap for them. And specifically, let's clap for the president of Apple. Because at the management meeting, we have some directors who are in other organizations that is not happening. And then some of us have to say, look, if we are talking of realization of public procurement in Nigeria, it is only happening. No? Yeah. All other organizations in their best interests. All other organizations should be encouraged advised in their best interest to either come under upon or to negotiate with upon. I'd like to end by saying that this is not the end, this is the beginning. But we at BPP, you know, with the leadership of our DG, is committed to ensure that we do everything, you know, both materially and otherwise, and anything that we need to do up to the legislature, to the executive, to ensure that we land at this laudable goal of APON, we will not rest until we get there. Thank you very much, and you're all welcome. The 2022 annual conference was a combo package which contained a word presentation to deserving recipients, induction of new members, induction of honorary fellows, book presentation, and gala night. National President of Association of Public Procurement Practitioners of Nigeria, Akbarawa Memkaniko, FCPP, in his welcome address, admonished practitioners of all categories to observe continuous procurement training, self-development, uphold the codes and ethics, and the core values of APON. He further highlighted the need for the review of various standards, procedures, and biddings. According to him, he said that the establishment of Buru of Public Procurement is one of the greatest things that happened in Nigeria. Upon has resolved to maintain national, international relevance in capacity development, professional training comparable to global best practices to designated professional institutions across the country. In recent times, on due external influence and the demon of quackery account for lack of transparency and inefficiency in public pro process. We must develop capacity of practitioners to avoid those corrupt tendencies. Our concern is to promote professionalism among members. It is on this premise that this year's conference is titled Promoting Professionalism in Public Procurement Practice for Sustainable Economic Development. Our desire is that every fourth 
June of the year should be declared nationally as public procurement day. Upon would henceforth hold its national event on that day to commemorate the advent of public procurement practice in Nigeria. Today, as we decorate our inductees and our awardees, we welcome you all to the struggle to uphold the core ethics and values of public procurement. Your induction is an oath to protect, promote, propagate, project, and uphold credible public procurement practice. We ask you, as from today, to be a good ambassador and advocate of professionalism in public procurement practice. May I use this opportunity to appreciate members of the National Assembly, Office of the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Bureau of Public Procurement, State Government, Permanent Secretaries, who have made meaningful contributions in development of public procurement practice in Nigeria. Today, we recognize your efforts in this regard as we enlist you for good governance and excellent service awards. Congratulations. Once again, I congratulate you all, inductees and awardees, for attending this program. God bless you. Thank you. The guest speaker, Mr. Chukud Yuche, who raised the country manager in Nigeria, Chartered Institute of Procurement and Supply United Kingdom, who spoke on the conference theme, Promoting Professionalism in Public Procurement Practice for Sustainable Economic Development, charged the officers to close all loopholes of looting, adhere to ethical codes and standards, as having efficient procurement practitioners in Nigeria will help in fighting corruption. He made several recommendations that will help in the sector's best practices. When we consider professionalism in procurement, one thing is very important. Our attention should be on having a system in place with strong institutions where procurement professionals have defined duties and competencies as well as well motivated for successful implementation of each aspect of public procurement activities. I am looking forward to a time when there shall be clear procurement guidelines that will ensure that our sourcing strategies are not just tied to what you know every time we talk about the cheapest cost, which is not really the cheapest anyway, in most occasions, but on creating values where the issue of ethical and sustainable procurement is given a loud voice. The reality now is that when we make decisions based on cheapest price, we may find it difficult to source locally. Since the procurement efficiency indicator will go against that. There is therefore need for data-driven performance management systems where procurement professionals are able to agree on what to measure, performance targets, as well as indicators. More especially, there should be performance scorecards for every supplier you deal with. And what that means is this, it can help in the aspect of supplier development initiatives. And when such initiatives with local suppliers happen, it triggers what? Productivity. It reduces waste and impacts positively on our economic development. In concluding, I will state that promoting professionalism and using it to drive sustainable economic development will lead to tangible impacts that could be seen amongst others in the aspect of achieving value for money in government expenditure, creating competition, the drive for innovation, reduction of corruption, cost savings, creating of local capacity, creating of jobs, and fair wages, protecting of the environment, as well as the reduction of debt levels. I can bet my whole life that no one can make any headway in achieving of sustainable economic development by neglecting the procurement profession or the procurement professionals. Yes. I feel honored to be here. 
It is because of the value Honorable Bunny has for this association that after trying every possible way to be here himself but cannot, that is why he ensured that he should be represented. Barrister Saleh Samanja, the Honorable Commissioner for Justice who represented the Special Guest of Honor, His Excellency Honorable Maimala Buni, CON, Governor of Yoba State, remarked. Yes, His Excellency, I assure you that we continue and continue to put up his best for the interests of the association. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Excellent in anything increases potential in everything. Nothing with value comes without a price. Therefore, Upon awarded exceptional leaders for their selfless services towards nation building and contribution to the development of Apon. Out of numerous nominations, 16 recipients were presented Excellence Service Award. For public procurement practitioners of Nigeria, I hereby invite the executive governor of the universities, having presented the commissioner for justice to please step forward for good governance our work. We continue to partner with you and we also appreciate you for what you are doing for the Bureau in your business. God bless you. Our DT of BPP have been presented by Engineer Kuye. Thank you so much for your support, your encouragement. We will continue to partner Thank you for everything you've done for the practice in Nigeria. We appreciate you. She's a very beautiful woman. Some people want it to happen, some wish it would happen, while others make it happen. Some members of the association made it happen as six members were awarded honorary fellow and 40 fellows of the association. Amateurs practice until they get it right. Professionals practice until they can't get it wrong. 237 new members were inducted into Apon so that they won't get it wrong. All these new members to please stand. We are happy to have you with us. There is no new member from now, there is no old member. We are all members of Apon. We are all procurement practitioners. So now that you are coming, you are not late. You are the second batch. So congratulations for coming. Please, you see what we've done. Join us. Don't come to destroy, come to build. Goodwill messages were received from the guest. My wife, Michelle, and I are extremely happy that we're here today. So we are extremely proud. Apon, Apon, in me, you have a friend and a brother and a colleague. Uh, my boss, the Senate Minority Leader, the FCT Long Senate, and most distinguished Senator Philip Kenimo Aluda, is indeed unavoidably the absent here. And he uh, said, I should tell the national president that uh, he will always uh, be there for you anytime, anywhere, any day. He continue to support you. I feel great. It's like uh, hard work being repaid. Uh, that's the way I feel, honestly. Um, because in PEF, when I joined the procurement unit in PEF, and then when we set out adverts, we used to have just about six to ten respondents. But before um, PEF was merged with D uh, DPR and PPPRA, our last advert we had a thousand respondents. And that showed uh, the public acceptability of the processes of uh, procurement processes of PEF. 
The 2022 Conference of Association of Public Procurement Practitioners of Nigeria was wrapped up with a dinner party where members were received in a cozy ambience with sumptuous refreshment and various entertainment. Also share their experiences in upon. For us to have a very good uh, uh, sustainable development in Nigeria, we need a very good government system. You have to look your, your superiors in the eye and tell your boss or even your chief executive that this is not possible. You can do it. And uh, it's also a dangerous, dangerous assignment. You can imagine when your appraiser is lying on his table. And you're telling him you cannot do this. So 
your um, shows your character whether you can still withstand uh, the heat in the kitchen. That's what makes you a procurement officer. Being a procurement officer, you have to maintain your integrity. Do not allow anybody to push you to the wall. Do what is right. Shine your eye. Anything you do, your chief executive will always say that he acted upon your recommendation. So do what is right. Issue of victimization for which want to bring your colleagues in office. Second, invitations to anti crime agencies. The integrity and diligence in the job. One of the things I enjoy as a procurement officer is that I add value to the system. And being a procurement officer has made me to be looking at total cost of ownership in any procurement exercise I mean. You don't just look at the initial cost, rather you look at total cost of ownership. And you realize that when you make decisions, it will always help the system. And now as the procurement officer, you have to tell the challenge of the CC, the ICPC. This is a great challenge. So based on your profession, I think when you work, work according to the rules and regulations, you have a mechanism of protecting yourself. So let's be transparent. And the purpose is bad for money. So let's have an African government as VFF and see that we contribute other dignitaries who graced the event were Mr. Mama Namadu, FNIQA's Director General, Bureau of Public Procurement, BPP, who was represented by Engineer Babatunde Kweye, Director Energy, BPP. Mr. Babajide Sangwulu, Governor of Lagos State, who was represented by Fatai Idowu, Director General, Lagos State Public Procurement Agency. Mr. Abba Bello, Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Mexim Bank, who was represented by Mr. Friday Ichide. Baba Jide Sunday, who represented the Commissioner of Police, FCT Abuja. DCP, Hurudin Sabo. Mr. M.A. Abdulaziz, ATBU Bauchi. Enoy Tukbasi, who represented the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed. Engineer Mubarak Shehu Ladan, Director General Kaduna State Ruwasa, and others. A little thank you that one says to someone for a little favor shown is a key to unlock the doors that hit unseen greater favors. For it is not what you have in your pocket that makes you thankful, but what you have in your heart. The Vice President of Upon Mrs. Ukeje Nkechi Arinze expressed gratitude to all. Thank you for Upon, as a professional body, seeks to maintain highest standards of credible value and ethical conduct among public procurement practitioners in Nigeria through competence, integrity, efficiency, confidentiality, accountability, transcendence, wisdom, transparency, fairness, due diligence, ethical standards, timeliness, courage, and modesty.
broader perspective, 